The following is a paid presentation by Key Video Productions. This is Colton Schmidt with the Buffalo Bills, and you're watching Come Dine With Me, Western New York. There's something cooking in the neighborhood. From where I stand, it's looking mighty good. You're gonna love it. Come dine with me. Come dine with me. Come dine with me. Hello everybody, I'm Oliver Wolf and this is Come Dine With Me Western New York sponsored by Key Video Productions, Artisan Kitchen and Bath, Ventura's Car Star Collision and of course Seneca Resort and Casinos where we bring you our show each and every week right here on Channel 7. I'm Jan Farrington and you know the Buffalo and Niagara region is certainly on the move these days chef. There are new buildings rising up everywhere. Yeah. We're seeing new construction and the gorgeous and ever expanding waterfront. Yeah. I mean, there's something new going in there every day and I love the view here. Yeah, by um, all accounts, we're heading in the right direction there. I would have to say. And let's hope, Jen, that uh, our sports team are heading in the right direction as well. And speaking of that, uh, the Bills, uh. you know, <laughs> yeah, they're, they're on the move. And hopefully uh, in a couple hours, we're going to be uh, playing the Tampa. They're playing Tampa Bay. Mm -hmm. And uh, first time in four years, I think. Yes. And you know, there shouldn't be any excuses because they're just coming off a of bye week. So they should be really fresh, right? Right, right. And I think that if the offense shows up, I think we're going to be able to put one in the win column for the Bills today. What do you think? You know what? I'm on there with that prediction with you, but I've, it is the Bills. So, <laughs> yes, you know, I wish them luck. I hope they win. And like you said, there should be no excuse. But you know not. what? But Even w whatever happens, there's always great food, right? Absolutely. I'm sure there are a lot of folks out there in New Era Field getting their tailgate on right now. But if you decided to stay home and watch the big game today, we've got some great tailgate options that you might want to try out for yourself. Just keep in mind that whether you're in the kitchen or out in your backyard, if you want to serve the best to your guests, it all starts by using the right tools. Welcome to the Weber Mobile Grill Academy. Today at Artisan, we were fortunate enough to be visited by Weber's Grill Academy, and they came with the pop-up trailer that has over 30 different varieties of Weber grills on it. You know, we want to demonstrate our grill, how it performs. It's so important that we know that we have a grill that's going to last, and Weber lasts. From the first steak to 10 years later, you're still getting great, flavorful food off that grill. Weber really sets the standard in outdoor cooking. They really have a grill for everybody. You know, if you need something for the RV, for the lake, for camping, for tailgating, going to the Bills game, yeah. We have a grill for you. And then the grill sizes themselves, the cooking surface, that'll vary as well. And they rate those on how many hamburgers you can cook. It's that simple. And folks, this here is the ranch kettle. Now this is what we use in all the Weber Grill restaurants in Chicago, Indianapolis, and St. Louis. Our gas lines, we have the Genesis line as well as the Spirit line for people who are cost conscious. That's what Weber's all about. It's about accommodating our customers and personalizing that grilling experience. If you talk to people and you tell somebody that you just bought a Weber, their interest will be piqued if they don't already own one. Weber's able to give customers new recipes and new techniques to try. Come out and check out you know, Weber Grill, see what they're all about. We're gonna talk to them about the quality and how long it lasts. We're gonna show them how they work and how it performs and we're gonna give them great food. And then make their buying decision and put it in their car and take it home. There's more to come with my pal Elio. You're watching Come Dine With Me, Western New York. Welcome to Elio DePaul's restaurant. It's a family affair here as we carry on tradition with my grandfather of serving great food, sharing stories, talking sports, and celebrating with friends and family at the Ringside Lounge. This fall, it's football season, and Illy de Palos is your tailgate headquarters. And we take it a step further with a great relationship with the Buffalo Bills. For years, the Buffalo Bills organization has supported my grandfather's scholarship fund through our local golf tournament and our celebrity chef dinner. 
There's always a great turnout at our local golf tournament, which is held at Wanaka Country Club. We get local celebrities such as Jim Kelly, Steve Tasker, or present players such as Eric Wood and punter Colton Schmidt. At our scholarship awards dinner, we honor the best of the best of the student athletes in Western New York. Speaking of dinner, time to get back to some food. And a great item for the big game is our Italian sausage, peppers, and onions. It's an offer you can't refuse. Or there's always a family pack of chicken parm, which comes with rigatoni, Italian green beans, and some garlic bread. You could either pick it up, or we could bring it to you. Go Bills! It's always a great day at Iliad Apollo's. We'll see you at the Ringside Lounge. Closed captioning provided by Car Star Relax. We'll take it from here. Make your living room jealous with Mila built-in appliances from Artisan Kitchens and Baths. The romance of Tuscany, the flavor of DePaulo's, everything you love about DePaulo's, the food, the friendship, the family. Whether in our elegant dining room or outside in the courtyard, the atmosphere is authentic. For a simple dinner out or the affair of a lifetime, find Tuscany in your own backyard. Ilio de Palo's Restaurant, Banquets at Ringside Lounge in Blaisdell, a family restaurant with a gourmet touch. You know you need a professional video for your company or website, but you're wondering, where do I begin? Well, check out keyvideo.com, Buffalo's premier television and video production house. We work with big businesses and other companies that think big. Corporate image, sales, training, you name it. Scripting, shooting, editing, we call it concept to completion, and we're ready to go to work for you. For your business, for all of life's events, call, click, or visit Key Video today. Make your living room jealous with Mila built-in appliances from Artisan Kitchens and Baths. Roger's Tips. With me, Chef Roger Bell. One creative way to bring your friends and family together is by cooking on a smoker. There are a lot of variables that go into smoking. The temperature of your smoker, the type of meat you're going to use, and the type of wood you're going to use. I prefer to use fruit wood for my smoking because it adds a sweetness to the meat when it's done. When smoking meats, I prefer to go with something that's a little fattier than other things, like brisket. The fat matters in the smoking of the meat because it retains most of the smoke flavor. The temperature of the fire is very important. You don't want it too hot because it'll cook the meat and that's not smoking. A perfect temperature to keep your smoker at is 225, low and slow. Another very important tip is don't ever lean on a hot smoker. Ow! Now that's another Rogers tip. Today we're at Flying Bison down here by the Larkin Square for a Food Truck Tuesday. Buffalo's Best Food Truck is a prime example of what we serve at our pizzeria and our restaurant. We have buffalo steak, smokehouse chicken, pulled pork, Gilroy fries, macaroni cheese, and loaded nachos. When we do lunch, we do a lot of salads and chicken fingers. We serve a quality, distinctive product. All of our food is made fresh to order. We come with the window, we serve you food in two minutes, and we love our guests. The reason why Buffalo is best is a cut above the rest is our speed of service, our quality of food, and our price point, which makes us Buffalo's best. This portion of the program was sponsored in part by Key Video Productions, television, video, DVD.
And hello, we are back and we're here today with Chef Kevin Heiler from the Blues Restaurant at the Seneca Niagara Resort. Thank chef, how are you? Good, Chef. Thank you for Welcome having me. Welcome to the show. Thank you. So, Kevin, you're showing us one of your killer burgers today here? Yes, we're going to do a fall burger. We have a certified Angus beef. I'm going to salt and pepper it on both sides. Then we're going to place it on the griddle. Well, that's probably a great tailgate item to do at home too on the barbecue and whatnot. Yes, Jim. That's definitely for Bill's games, yep. obviously in our area. We're going to cook this burger to medium rare, so we're going to do it about three minutes on each side. Just let the burger cook. You don't have to keep on uh, moving it. Let it rest. Let the pan do the cooking for you. Yeah, so don't no pressing down like on the on the yes, like you sometimes exactly. see on TV with the big presses on the burgers no. and whatnot, right? You want the juices to get locked in there. Mm -hmm. You want a nice juicy burger. Now what's special on your beef patty steak, you said there's certified Angus beef. Yes. That's really one of the best beefs you can get, you know, from selected farmers and it really shows in the flavor of it. So yes. I can't wait to try that. And now this burger, you have that available for a short time at, at Blue's on special request? Yes, we do. Yes, okay. come in and ask for it and we'll have it on the blackboard. We're a different, unique type of restaurant. We don't have waiters and waitresses. You walk up, order your food, we get you a pager. In a short period of time, you'll come up and get your burger, we'll serve it to you. Yeah, what's special about it is really is your fresh brioche rolls, all yes. the burgers are served those, on. Those are you know, they're not pre-cooked, you make them really to order. Yes. And you can really customize them <laughs> to your likings. I don't you know can, how many different toppings you have. But yeah, there's 50 different toppings. You can actually it's build your own burger. You pick your roll, you pick one kind of cheese, bacon, pickles, onions, um, right. whatever type of toppings you want to do on it. I think we're ready to turn yeah, so this I think one we're ready up. As you can see, the burger is kind of folding up a little bit on one side, so you mm -hmm. take it and flip it over. Oh, we get a nice sear mark, locks in the juices. Very nice. For the viewers at home that want to get a nice piece of meat, if you see the certified Angus label on the meat packaging, you know you're getting a supreme piece of meat there. It goes through a different grading process, like it has 10 different criteria. The marbling has to be a certain size, you know, and, and that marbling really is what carries the flavor throughout and also gives it the tenderness of yes. the meat. So once that seal is on there, the certified Angus seal, you know you're getting something special there. Uh, we're using a Yancey's Fancy Maple Cheddar Cheese. Obviously it's a local company, so we want to stay local, support our local vendors. And their cheeses are magnificent. Yes, I mean, they we, are. we're carrying uh, quite some at the resort, and they're all good. From the horseradish one over the buffalo wing cheese, of yes. course, local favorite. I love the you buffalo know. cheddar. And then the maple, you know, we're in Western New York. Yes. All right, so now we're going to go over to our broiler, melt our cheese. We're going to give that about 30 or 40 seconds to melt nicely, and then we're going to build the burger. I made a roasted garlic aioli. So, first of all, We'll put it on our roll. Give a nice big slatter on there. Yep. Very nice, yeah. I do love my Okay. Then we're going to first put our lettuce on. Okay. Now the first patty. Uh huh. And our second patty. Whoa! Awesome. Now we have tomato. We have some rice red onion. And a couple onion rings that I fried up a little while ago. Right on top. And there's no way you could keep this together. So we'll put a nice steak knife right down in there. And that's our blue special. Well, look at the size of this. Great job, Kevin. <laughs> For our viewers out there, come on over to Blues and order the special. And come dine with me, Western New York. Uh, what about that burger, huh? Uh -oh. Are you in for it? Uh, Boy, I don't know. Like, How do you eat that thing? Yeah. <laughs> Probably have to cut a little bit, but... You it know. would be worth it. Oh, oh yeah. absolutely. A really, really a great juicy burger. That nice local Yancey Fancy on there. Cheese. Oh, mm -hmm. delish. I have mm -hmm. a thing for burgers. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, it's easy to make at home, too. You know, if yeah, you really yeah, wanted yeah, to. If you really wanted to, and mm -hmm. you got the grill and barbecue fired up, or the pan like like mm -hmm. you know, like mm -hmm. Kevin made there for you, yeah. For your tailgate party. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Remember, if you want to learn more about the restaurant you see on our show, or you saw one of the chefs prepare a special dish that you'd like to make on your own, you can find the videos and much, much more on our Facebook page, as well as come dine with me wny.com. And also remember to follow us on Instagram for a behind the scenes look at the making of our show. 
There's lots more to come on this, our tailgate episode. Grill boy, Jeff Retzinger, is on deck. <laughs> Literally. Literally, yeah. <laughs> Jeff, what do you got for us this morning? Just a couple more commercials, and you'll see why good things come in small packages. Hang in there. Some call it luck. Others believe in the invisible hand of fate. Maybe it's magic. Or a higher power. Here, we like to think there's a perfect match. For all of us. Seneca Resorts and Casinos. Nothing else comes close. Lockport's favorite restaurant and meeting place, the Village Eatery Italian Bistro serves the finest pizza, pasta, chicken, veal, and seafood. Our famous Friday night fish fry, homemade Italian bread, and old world sauce have kept Western New Yorkers coming back for over 35 years. Check out our vast wine selection and visit the Bistro Bar for a signature martini. For really great Italian American food, it's the Village Eatery Italian Bistro. After being involved in an accident, one of the first things you think about is getting your car repaired as quickly as possible. But where do you go and who do you trust? The only name to keep top of mind and stored in your phone is Ventura's CarStar Collision. When it comes to customer service, quality, warranties, and peace of mind, we've got you covered. Leave it to the pros at Ventura's CarStar Collision. Relax, we'll take it from here. He's got the tools, the skills, and he's got the heat. Jeff Rexinger is Grill Boy. Hey everybody, Jeff Rexinger from Artisan Kitchens here. We are cooking on the new Weber Summit Grill today. We're doing sliders for your tailgate party. Let's get to the grill. So we made sliders for our tailgate today. We had some ground beef, we had some goat cheese, red peppers, and caramelized onions. The ground beef was a blend of Angus, 80-20, 90-10, and some 95-5, very lean cuts of meat. The Weber Summit has a built-in igniter, so you can light your charcoal with the assistance of an LP gas tube. It'll give you the ability to bring your charcoal to a cooking temperature in a very short period of time, usually about 12 to 15 minutes. We brought the sliders to the grill. They're pretty small and they're thin, so they don't need much time, usually about two minutes a side. Once we flipped them, we added the peppers and the caramelized onions and brought everything up to temperature. It didn't take very long. So this Weber Summit Grill is the most versatile grill that they offer. You can do high heat for burgers and veggies. You can do low and slow for pork butts and brisket. The Weber grill really holds moisture in fresh vegetables as you're cooking them on the grill. So that pepper really had some great charcoal flavor, but it was still very, very moist. We cut them while they were still hot and we quartered them so they fit on the bun nicely. After the burgers were done, we let them rest. Then we put them on the buns. We topped them with the goat cheese, the caramelized onion, and the roasted red pepper, and they were ready to go. You had a lot of flavors going on with that slider today. You had the charcoal flavor on the beef, the caramelized onion, the roasted red pepper, and the goat cheese blended everything together. The Weber Summit does it all. No condiments needed. Mm -mm -mm. You're gonna love it. Grill Boy. This portion of the program was sponsored in part by Artisan Kitchens and Baths, Western New York's most interactive showroom. I only went to talk. Didn't expect to fall in love. I told him what I needed and he listened. We finally decided to go through with it. 
The design team was with us every step of the way, and we created our dream kitchen. And within budget, we hardly spend time in a living room anymore. Make your living room jealous. Let Artisan Kitchens and Baths craft your dream kitchen, from cabinets and countertops to appliance brands like Mila, Sub-Zero, and Wolf. Visit our showroom at 200 Amherst Street in Buffalo. Artisan Kitchens and Baths. Hey, you. You got a bunch of these? You want to turn them into these? Come on down and talk to me. I'm going to take this and turn it into this in two weeks. Don't ask me how I do it. I've been doing this for a long time. Come on and talk to me. I'm here every Tuesday. Don't trust your precious memories to catchy gimmicks. Let the courteous and professional staff at Buffalo Video Transfers convert your old videos to DVD. Just $14.95 per tape and $9.95 for any additional copy after that. Visit buffalovideotransfers.com, a division of Key Video Productions. With Frontier Catering, it's easy to show your good taste. Chef Art Christie uses time-tested techniques and authentic family recipes to create a custom menu that showcases your personal style and your venue. And with Frontier Catering, your food is prepared fresh, on-site. For corporate events, unforgettable weddings, and other signature celebrations, it has to be Frontier Catering. I'm here with Mike Malinaro, and we're going to be preparing one of his favorite dishes at his restaurant. This is going to be the stuffed peppers with pizza dough. Correct. Oh, man. This is the award winner that you had, I understand. World famous. I can't wait to get started. Why don't you tell us a little bit about exactly what's in this thing? What we basically do is we clean out the pepper, and we make our stuffing, which is a buffalo chicken, which has the chicken, the breadcrumb, hot sauce, crumbly blue cheese, stuff like that. We also do one with the sausage stuffing. That's a secret. Uh, I can't really tell you about. So they got to go to the they restaurant have to, go to to the get restaurant that one. So if they go that. to the restaurant, you'll sneak over to the table and you might tell them about it. Maybe. Okay. Maybe if they're lucky. <laughs> and then what we do from there is we basically get our pizza dough and. Um, and this is all homemade, fresh. All homemade stuff. dough. Every morning, my father and I make the dough together. Um, you're gonna get your pizza dough, pull it out. You're gonna put it in some flour. All right. We'll put them on both sides. We'll flour them on both sides. We'll bring it down, put a little more flour underneath you here. Okay. Just so your doesn't workstation stick. doesn't yep. stick, right? Okay. And there's a couple different ways you can do it, but this is the way that I do it. I cut them in four, okay? And otherwise, at home, you can get a rolling pin and you can roll it out. You want a nice consistency. Um, not too thick at all, because it has to bake through. So basically, you're going to grab your dough. You're going to start stretching little by little. You know, work it all the way around, nice and uh, slow. There's no need to rush. And that's exactly how you make it in the restaurant. This is how we make it at the restaurant, oh just like this. I we'll put it. it down. We'll put our pepper inside. Right that's here, already like pre-done, not cooked it's or anything, ready not to go. cooked, right, correct. I cut a little bit of the edge off, okay? And basically what we do is we just wrap it. We'll wrap it like this, and we'll come around and just keep going. Almost like a stuffed pepper just, calzone. Right? That's it, exactly. And then we'll just uh, seal it up nice and like that, okay? Right. The end, you can see the, you can either seal it or you can leave it open like that. I choose to leave it open because a lot of times the stuff will come out after it's baking and it looks really nice like that. So that's our stuffed top pepper roll right, right there with our buffalo chicken. Okay. We're going to flour it. Right, so we flour it. And we'll put this right on there like that. Okay, good. Well, we'll finish up and we'll do these here. I'll okay. do a couple for you, Art, okay. if you'd like, and you, okay. can, uh, sure. you can roll one. All right. That's the head at the Italian Fest on Hurdle every year. This is the one you Sausage serve, Sausage huh? stuffed top banana pepper. Is yep. that where I always see the lines from, huh? That's it. I You're right. It. Okay. You're right. Seal it up. And I guess I need more practice on this, huh? A little bit. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> you can set your temperature on the oven at 450. I should cook for about 10 minutes. Now we finish it up with a little butter garlic. So all that is is just butter and a little garlic. And a little bit of oregano. And a little oregano. It gives it that little extra zap. All right, so we will put that on there. You just brush it on. Brush it on. You know, we're Italian, so we always like more. And more is always better than less, right? right? More exactly. is always better than less. Yep. Now you can get this for lunch, for dinner. Lunch, dinner. You do catering? Catering, absolutely. We do a lot of catering parties. And everything's made in house. You everything's make your homemade made in cookies. Absolutely. And you don't have to wait for a holiday to buy Gucci Dottis and no, we make, or anything. We're, we're baking on a daily basis. Oh. It's like a little taste of Italy. You know, you get all that homemade, real, true Italian food. Oh my God, Mike, this is absolutely unbelievable. 
Thank you, Art. If you like that and you enjoy that, mm -hmm. we have many more dishes in Lockport at Molinaro's 90 Walnut Street, including homemade Italian pastries, uh, pastas, pizzas, anything that the family would enjoy, we have. So come dine with me, Western New York. Well, Jen, I'm hungry. Oh, I'm always <laughs> hungry. What do you say we heading over to Molinaro's for some of those hot stuffed pepper rolls and watch the bills beat the bucks on that big screen TV in the enclosed patio? Oh, sounds good. Those stuffed hot pepper rolls that Mike makes, they uh -huh. are award winning and world famous. I didn't know if you knew that, no, but they are not. delicious. I, yes. I really he makes them all by hand. I, I do want to try those out. We should check that out. Well, we'll be back next week with a brand new episode. We've been working on this all summer, Jen, and it's our beer pairing episode. And you really don't want to miss them. Oh, I'm really excited for it. We're going to be visiting Woodcock Brothers Brewery in Wilson, New York. Chef Jean from the creek right here will prepare an ale marinated flat iron salad. Then Jeff Rexinger, and I know you're going to love this chef. He's going to pair a German bratwurst dish with one of Flying Bison's best known beers. You had me at bratwurst. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny Russo from Hamburg Brewing Company will be with us, as well as our pals from 12 Gates. Join us next week for the beer special on Come Dine With Me Western New York. It's all happening next Sunday, so plan on being with us. From the production team at Key Video and everybody here at Come Dine With Me Western New York, there's only two things left to say. Go Bills, and remember, food rules. You know you need a professional video for your company or website, but you're wondering, where do I begin? Well, check out keyvideo.com, Buffalo's premier television and video production house. We work with big businesses and other companies that think big. Corporate image, sales, training, you name it. Scripting, shooting, editing, we call it concept to completion, and we're ready to go to work for you. For your business, for all of life's events, call, click, or visit Key Video today. After being involved in an accident, one of the first things you think about is getting your car repaired as quickly as possible. The only name to keep top of mind and stored in your phone is Ventura's Car Star Collision. And relax, we'll take it from here. The key to getting a great video of your wedding day is knowing every emotion will be captured. The key to getting a treasured keepsake of the sights and sounds of your celebration is hiring a professional team with an unobtrusive style using the best equipment. The key to choosing your wedding cinematographer is trust. Couples have trusted Key for over 20 years. Key Video, Buffalo's best videos. Call, click, or visit us today. The Sandwich Task Force is asking for your help in the capture and return of Nicky Whispers. Standing three inches high, his known accomplices are sweet red peppers, melted mozzarella, and Goomba oil. Whispers is armed with grilled prime rib. If you have any information on his known whereabouts, contact Marco's Italian Deli today.